Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, thank you so much for having me. And uh, this is a, a, a great, again a great opportunity for myself to participate in Al Huda TV programs. I know this is uh, very challenging and very unique Ramadan this year. Very special as well, with a very good taste and very uh, different feelings. I know all Muslims around the world are actually uh, competing to do the best they can in order to have a beautiful Ramadan, inshallah. Uh, though it is tough, though it is hard, because we are not able to gather, we are not able to see our friends and our family members, but I can tell you that it will have a very special taste for all Muslims, inshallah. The Muslims always have chances to and have uh, different ideas to take the advantage of the beautiful month of Ramadan. Ramadan came this year while, while everybody is isolated, uh, all families are closing their doors, everybody is locked down actually. And we have advised uh, uh, since the beginning of this uh, uh, calamity, the problem, uh, uh, the pandemic of, of COVID-19. We have advised uh, all masajid to, uh, to to close the doors for public, just for the safety of everyone. Uh, as for us in Canada, similarly as any other country, we are the same. Uh, most people are not going out very often. We are being advised to stay at home uh, most of the time, even to work from home. Masajid close the doors for uh, public. Only the staff or imams attend to masajid, uh, not all the time, but uh, most of the times, uh, in order to maintain the services. Uh, I know that it will be challenging this time, because Ramadan is a very special month for all of us. We always have different feelings when Ramadan comes. It is time to gather with family. It is time to uh, connect with, with friends and to have iftars all the, all the months, especially in the Islamic centers and masajid. And I know that is a similarly the case in the Middle East. People get together, invitations and uh, iftars, and a uh, very beautiful feeling that people usually have with this blessed month of Ramadan. I know it is, alhamdulillah, as we all know, it is the holiest month for all of us, and we usually wait for that month. We make dua all the time that Allah give us a chance to live until another Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, I can tell everybody that we still live another Ramadan. We still have the chance to get the best reward, inshallah, if we do the best actions and best deeds during this blessed month of Ramadan. This Ramadan comes with all whatever it's happening. I know some of us even uh, have lost their loved ones because of COVID-19. In some cases, may Allah protect everyone. We do sincerely make dua to everyone around the world that Allah protect them from this virus, COVID-19, and to cure those who are sick, and to protect everyone else who is not uh, infected. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove as soon as possible this pandemic and this uh, virus uh, uh, for all people around the world. Now, when it comes to masajid, and when it comes to our worship, when it comes to our prayers, when it comes to our gatherings and our social connection and physical connection with our friends and our family members as we are unable to do that to visit masjids or to attend prayers or to follow our imams physically in the same place in the masjid but alhamdulillah we can say still that we have the ability to do most of these things even though we are at home with our family members i mean uh, alhamdulillah we can still do the fasting so this is a, a one blessing we're still alive to attend Ramadan this year, which is a great opportunity for us to live one more Ramadan, one more time. Uh, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So we thank Allah for the blessing of being again able to live another Ramadan. Though Ramadan is different this year, but it's still Ramadan the same. The gates of Jannah are widely opened, and the gates of Jahannam, the hellfire is completely locked, and shayateen are chained. So Alhamdulillah, we have the opportunity to worship Allah, to do good deeds, to give charity, to be generous, to fast, to make dua, to pray five times in, on, on their times with our family members. We have we have ability to make jama'at at home with our kids and our spouses. Uh, we are, Alhamdulillah, have the ability to listen to so much, to listen to, t to the TV channels like Al Huda, to listen to programs, to watch through the internet all the different imams, our local imams and also imams from other places. We can learn a lot now. We see that the schools are closed, our kids are too. There is a lot of chances for them to learn and to pray with parents and to have fun with them. 
I know it is hard, but we can do it. Alhamdulillah, we have the ability to make difference uh, when it comes to being locked down. Allah Azza wa is giving us a test, and I, we definitely will go through this test. So we have the month of dua, so we will sit at the time of Maghrib and we'll make dua. We don't have to be in the masjid to make dua, so Alhamdulillah, we will pray at home. Alhamdulillah, in Islam, you can pray anywhere, as the Nabi Sallallahu mentioned, that all the earth is for him is a masjid. So you can pray anywhere, at home, at work, at park, at, uh, uh, if the masjid is closed, you pray anywhere. Even we can pray in the plane and the car and the train and the ship, we can pray. So the prayer can be done anywhere. So Alhamdulillah, these are blessings in Islam that Muslim can do. Fasting can be done easily when we are, when we are within our family members. Alhamdulillah, jama'at, congregationally, we can do it with our kids and our family members. Even with the minimum verses of the Qur'an we memorize, we can read them in our salat with al-Fatiha, and our salat is established. I know one of the very visible actions and worship that comes with Ramadan is Salat al-Taraweeh, because this is the month of the Qur'an, it's the month of Qiyam. Whoever fast and whoever do Qiyam, Allah will forgive all their previous sins. And we understand that Taraweeh is very special when it is done in the Masjid with Jama'ah. But still, we can do it at home. Even if we, we have to read even three verses, or we read a small chapters from the Qur'an that we know, and in Taraweeh time, actually, we can open the Qur'an and read from it. So we have the chance to stay more in prayer, and also we can read more Qur'an if we wanted to. If we have only limited number of surahs, and we want to read them only, read them only. Even if you read one surah and you repeat it in all 11 rakats in Taraweeh, that is acceptable and your Taraweeh is valid, inshallah. Uh, also, when we get together with our family members within the same household and for iftar, the same feeling, inshallah, I know we are missing the opportunity to be with many, as many brothers and sisters as we usually do, but inshallah, we will come out of this stronger and we'll have different practices that we will keep on doing after Ramadan, inshallah. Still, Ramadan is the month of the Qur'an, so we'll be able to read Qur'an as often as we used to read when we are going to the Masajid. At home now, you have the ability, uh, using these technologies, Alhamdulillah, that this pandemic happened. While we are actually having the best technology, we have TVs, we have internet, we have social media, we have connections, we can connect with everybody. Maybe we are at the physically distant, but we are able to to connect with our family members and our friends socially is through the internet. So we can listen to the lectures, we can see the prayers, we can listen to the azans, and we can learn as well from all these imams and all these lectures and the TV programs that we that are offered from our local imams and from overseas imams and from everywhere. So we have the ability to do that. We have also the ability to read and recite Quran and listen to whatever sheikh that we like to listen to or to commit with an imam from the local society or the local city town in order to read Quran with them so that we will keep on doing recitation of the Quran during the month of Ramadan. We have the chance to give a charity. If we are unable to reach out to the masjid, we do that online to help the masjid to keep doors open and also to give a charity to, people, to the people in need around the world. I think we understand now we are weak, we are, as a human, we are weak, we are not able to face this unseen virus, subhanAllah. So how weak we are, we are very weak, and we always get our strings from Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we make dua and ask Him, and we return to Him, and we flee to Him, and we ask Him to help us to, uh, to get out of this pandemic, inshallah, as soon as possible. So we are able to make dua, we are able to sit and eat and enjoy the breakfast, the iftar with our family members, we do the sahri meal, we pray taraweeh, we pray in jama'ah, we recite the Qur'an, and we take the benefit of the social media to connect with our loved ones, we donate online to our local masajid and to the people in need to give a charity and zakat, and to do our work from home uh, if it's possible, or to take the cautious and, rest and to follow regulations if we have to go outside, outside our homes. So Alhamdulillah, Ramadan will come this year, or it has come with different feeling, and inshallah we will go through it, and we'll come out of it inshallah while we have established salat at our homes, and we will continue to do that afterwards, that we are able to make jama'at within our homes, that we are able to connect with the whole world through the internet, and through the media, and through the technology. So Alhamdulillah, 
we thank Allah for the many blessings that He has given to us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of us. So here, inshallah, nothing will affect us, nothing will stop us to continue to do the rituals and to enjoy Ramadan. Uh, this year, inshallah, will be much, much, inshallah, a great experience for everybody of us. And uh, we will, inshallah, continue to do the best that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved us to do because we want to have success. Still, as we said, doors of Jannah are opened, the uh, hellfire is locked, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, uh, has given us opportunity to pray and ask Him for protection and also to ask Him for the blessings to be in Jannah and to give us the opportunity and the ability to do different worships. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us safe and allow us to practice all the best uh, of our ibadah and to, to connect with our family members and our loved ones. Uh, here in Canada, we would like to send our greetings to all our brothers and sisters everywhere in Africa, in the Middle East and around the world. May Allah bless you all. And I would like to thank my brothers and the team of Al Huda channel. Thank you for having me and giving me the opportunity to be with you in this blessed month of Ramadan. And I'm sure I will be with you again, inshallah, physically soon in, in your studio in Cairo. And I would love to uh, make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, bless your effort, and we'll be together always, inshallah. May Allah give you all Jannah to Firdaus and bless you and all your family members, my brothers and my sisters around the world. Jazakumullah khair from Canada, Imam Rifat Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum.